<sighs> what is up, dear humanoids? I just got back from Los Angeles, and that was awesome. Then we went out to Tampa and skated in the Clash of the Cruise. That was awesome. We got eighth place. Not terrible, right? Out of 25-ish, 23, 23 shops. We got eighth. Not too shabby. Whatever. We had a good time. Everybody check out Skate Park of Tampa. If you're in that area, you already know about it. So whatever. Anyway, we had a good time. It was a blast. But this video is late because of it. But here we go. This guy right here. Here is your, your next Quick Strike Endeavor by Nike SB. This one has been highly anticipated to say the least. Um, yeah, this might be the most anticipated dunk drop of this year. And it's, what, the second or third, third or fourth? It's in the low numbers of sale boxes. So there you go. Your box details right here, Nike Dunk Low Pro QS and Phantom Safety Orange, etc. This is a size nine. I am getting my size 11. And I am going to cut those things up. Even though I don't want to, I'm going to do like a little, I'm going to see how well I can do it. Um, it's going to be challenging, I think. Um, anyway, that is for another video for now. Uh, let's dive into these things. Boom. Boom. Sale box. Here we go, guys. This is it. This one, I believe, is $130. Releases on May 6th. Originally slated for May 4th, but we're looking at May 6th now. Um, also, this is true to size. There's been some debate online whether or not this is true to size. I definitely went true to size. I will, I'm getting an 11 and a half to cut up for you guys. And I tried on the 12 as well. And the 12 was just a little bit... Too big, too roomy. Um, these things are a little stiff because you do have either leather or suede. I'm not sure yet, but there is material underneath this. And so you do have multiple layers of material. So it is a bit stiffer to put on. But once you get it on, this toe box is nice and open. It feels pretty good. So I wouldn't say go up half a size like a lot of people are saying. If you do hit on your true to size, I think you'll be happy. Of course, I think you could go up a half a size and be happy as well, but I wouldn't do it. Like usually I'm the first person to go, yep, I'm jumping up a half size. Um, these fit good. Uh, lately, I feel like maybe there's been some retooling done to the Dunk Low because every single pair I get lately, the toe box just feels a little more roomy than it did last year. So that's kind of uh, where I feel Maybe my feet are shrinking. Who knows? But anyway, um, let's look at this. This is pretty crazy. Um, even though you have this excess material on top, uh, that is a turn and stitch toe cap. So you still have the turn and stitch for extra durability with your Ollie, which is pretty crazy. I didn't anticipate that with the extra material. Um, sometimes it has it, but a lot of times when it's double material, it's just a raw edge. But um, I think the Para had a, a turn and stitch toe cap as well, but that material was very, very thin. So um, anyway, there you go. You got your hemp over either suede or leather. So if you are skating in these things, that's going to be extra durability. You have two layers of material to go through before you wear through this shoe. So I hope my skaters out there get a chance to skate these. Uh, it's not the end of the world if you don't, so stop whining. Um, this is a skate shoe, but it's okay to have shoes you don't wear also. That's okay. We're going to get through this together. Um, you also have this right here. This is your hidden uh, lace protection for Ollie's. So if you go right behind that material and you can see, look how thick. That is extra thick because it's, well, three layers of material. It's like wrapped around the OG material as well. So just lace your um, bottom two laces behind there and that'll help from those popping uh, from Ollie wear or kick flips or whatever you desire. So um, guys, I really love the aesthetic of this shoe um, just as is because dude, the colors just look amazing. Um, it does seem like it is really hard 
to remove all of the hemp, but I've been told it's possible. I don't know if I want to try, but I've been asked to try. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do it. I don't even want to cut them up in the first place, but I'm gonna skate them, so I might as well, right? Anyway, um, this is pretty sick. I think this might be the first. There's been some different things right here, but but I like this uh, color break on the sole. It just looks super sick, and I would like to see some durometer differences here. So if you put a harder rubber right there, this little part where you're like shuffling your foot back and forth, that right there might last a little longer, help your shoe last a little longer. And then you would put softer rubber here for more grip. Phylon midsole, we, uh, Looked at that and we've heard uh, Rose Anvil talk about that. I used to think that that midsole went the length of the shoe, but now we know it stops right there. And then you have a pour on footbed on the insole that we will look at in just a second. So there you go. This contrast orange stitch looks pretty sick, pretty dope. And then there's the inside of your shoe. Same thing. Looks pretty nice. Um, you got your Haritos logo, Tiny Jars logo on the heel right there. And then there is your Nike uh, Haritos branding on the back, which is pretty awesome. So just something a little different. What do you guys think? That looks pretty sick. I do love this one with the swoosh and the SB under it, which looks like the drink, um, you know, with the swoosh on it, because we got those bottles as well. So. Uh, here's your inside tongue tongue detail nothing special there that I can see made in Vietnam and then nothing on the back of that as well here is your insole you have all the Haritos uh, branding on the insole and then the Nike SB Haritos on the heel right there looks pretty awesome the colors are sick and then this is that pour on forefoot that I was telling you about this is that extra shock absorption that you need when you're jumping down stuff. So all your SB dunks have that. And it is the same uh, branding on both insoles. So you do have some elastic tongue straps in there, if you can see that. Um, that helps keep your, your tongue nice and centered so your tongue doesn't slide to the side of your foot, which is pretty cool. I think that is proprietary to SB dunks, but it might be on some of the special project dunks as well. You guys feel free to correct me, but I think it's just on SBs. Um, yeah, so that's pretty sick. And if you look in there, can you see that? You see a little orange dot that, um, that's just a little window into this midsole, not a big deal. Um, yeah, I think that is it. Let's put this back. All right, so you do have three lace options. Well, you know, first off, let's look at this. You have your uh, your original white lace that comes in there, but the aglets are mismatched. Is it mismatched or mix matched? But you do have different aglets on each side on that white lace. And then you have this orange lace with matching aglets. So that is pretty cool. And then also, you just got your um, your kind of sail colored lace with sail aglets. So this is your more, uh, yeah, just your regular standard. It's not white, kind of off white or sail lace that matches the shoe. Goes good with the hemp. And then you also have this uh, cool rope lace, and I believe all the aglets are green on this rope lace. Dudes, I like the different laces sometimes. A different lace just kind of freshens up the shoe. So there you go, uh, three lace options. Um, we're running a secondary raffle for this guy right here. So um, we do have a few of these, so we're running a secondary raffle. These will be free if you win the raffle. Um, so like our OG raffle details will apply to this. If you guys are in the know, in store only. I know that freaks everybody out, but like dudes, if we made it national, you wouldn't stand a chance in hell. Nobody I knew would stand a chance in hell to get this 
products. So we have a few of these. Um, come by the shop. It's free to enter. All that good stuff. And uh, OG raffle details apply to this um, to this box. And it is free if you win the raffle. You don't have to purchase it. Our raffle for the dunk is running right now. And it will close on Friday at end of business. And we'll announce winners on Saturday. So come by the shop. I know it's super frustrating. We have so many supporters out there that are not local, but we are a local Nike SB dealer. We are not a national, a national dealer. And despite what you guys uh, sometimes say in the comments, no, we cannot just do what we want with the shoes. So that's that. Um, we also do have these, these six sweatshirts right here. Super nice heavyweight sweatshirt with your Haritos branding um, and your Haritos branding on the inside label there pretty awesome and they are 120 so this brown is pretty sick so we got that and then let's crack this one open so you can see this this orange one has your traditional um Haritos color branding on it these things feel really good so um, we don't have a lot of them. It's a loose fit. You see this right here? Loose fit, pullover hooded sweatshirt for 120. And these are first come, first serve. They're not in the system yet. Just pay attention to Blue Tile SC on Instagram and we'll let you know the details for these. I don't know. I just got back in the office from Los Angeles. So we're figuring it out as we go. Thank you guys for watching. All the best. Love Blue Tile, and uh, I'll have this video up uh, in a couple hours. So, see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.